this is a broad question. How do we safely engage in teaching the history of New Zealand land wars, etc.? Any points about safety? I think you've touched on them, but anything more there? I think one of the things that I would like to say, one of the things that has come up a number of times as, as we've been doing the study, and I just have to give a shout out for um, our postdoctoral research fellow, um, Leanna McDonald, who is giving um, a talk in, in this series. Please attend it if you can. She's been um, very interested in what's been happening in the um, emotional dimensions of, of these histories. One thing that I would like to say, and this is after many conversations with this very extraordinary, extraordinary postdoctoral fellow, discomfort is going to be there. It is going to be difficult. That's why they call, we call them difficult histories. There are parts that people are going to feel horrified and they are going to feel challenged by what they hear. Hearing those stories for the first time, um, it, it can create harm. Um, it can create a sense of guilt or shame or, or embarrassment. And as Vincent has said, that is not the purpose. What I will suggest is that people don't die from a moment's discomfort. Mm. People do die from ongoing structural racism. And that's what we want to address. So it is about finding age-appropriate ways so that, that children and young people are safe as they're hearing these stories. But we can't remove all of the hard bits from these very, very violent histories. So we need to find ways of doing it, um, knowing that there is going to be some upset. Mm.